Alright guys, so usual stuff, first section is embargoed so it's finished and then we'll break into a section for the papers. Um, as I mentioned we've got a hard stop at 20 past 1 so appreciate your help with the, uh, with the questions. We'll get around as quick as we can. I will start with Dan from Sky. Hey Dan. Uh, just wanted to start with the team news at Bournemouth. Do you have any fresh injury concerns and how are Yuri Tillman and Johnny Evans? Uh, no injury concerns from the game on Tuesday, uh, so nothing to report on that. Uh, Johnny's trained this morning with the group, um, so that was really positive. And I expect Yuri to be back with the group, I think, next Tuesday to, to partake in, in some of that session. So, so that's the update on, on the injury front. Thank you, uh, Adam, on that. And just talking about the managerial situation here, have you had any conversations with the ownership and board on how long you expect to be in charge for? Uh, no, the... Situation remains exactly as it was. Uh, Mike and I are, 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 are going to be in charge for the game at the weekend. We'll prepare the team uh, tomorrow and be ready for the game on Saturday. Beyond that, the, the, there's no new update on on anything else. Just on the Bournemouth game, of course, a huge game in terms of the relegation race. I wonder where your biggest priority has been between the Villa game and looking ahead to that game on Saturday in terms of training and your message this week. Uh, no, I, I, I mean we'll prepare. We'll prepare for every game um, uh, with our usual processes. Um, it, it's going to be a massive game, of course. We understand that, but but there'll be no difference in the way we go around preparing for this game as, as we did on Tuesday night. Hi Adam, um, what's the biggest challenge for you and Mike in this situation? It's a tricky one, obviously that, that goes without saying. But what's the biggest challenge you faced uh, responding to the situation? Listen, Mike and I have been at this football club for a long time, so so we know these players very well. They know us very well. So for us, it's just about uh, remaining really positive with these players. It, it, it's a um, it's it's a it's a very talented group of players, and um, you know our job is really to give them our full support, which is which is what we've been doing. Obviously, Brendan was here at, at the forefront previously, but I guess you've all been working to the same message. The, the tricky bit is that maybe the message needs to change. That would be the suggestion of the managerial change, at least. So how, since you've been working to a plan, how, how do you change that message now? Um, listen, it's, it's one of them. Mike and I have worked very closely with Brennan, and, 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 and it's, it's, it's a sad situation to see Brennan leave the football club, but that's happened now, and the club have made that decision. I think all we can do is uh, look at look at the next fixture and prepare the team as best we possibly can, and just stay really focused on on getting the group into the right place possible to go and uh, to go and win the game. And what about Bournemouth? That goes without saying; it's a huge game for lots of reasons. But what about the the challenge they pose for you? Well, Bournemouth, uh, you know, is is a is a club um, in a similar situation to ourselves in the relegation zone, as you mentioned, a couple of points ahead of us. I think Gary's done a really good job with that, that team. You can really see a, a clear identity in how they play. Um, a, a side who play very much on the front foot. So we have to be ready. We know there's a big challenge ahead come Saturday, but um, with a date to prepare tomorrow and get the get the players into the best possible uh, place to be uh, to be ready for that game. I think uh, I think it, it it potentially is a is a fantastic fixture. Thank you. Adam, Thank you very much. Hi Adam, hope you're doing okay. Um, I wonder how the how the players have reacted uh, from what you've seen to you and Mike taking charge of things over the last couple of days. I know there's been a game in there as well, but have you seen any different kind of reaction to the players at all? Well, we've we've had such a uh, uh, a busy week, like you mentioned, with with the game on Tuesday night. So, I think it was a it was a simple case of getting everybody's mind on that game for Tuesday. The players. Had a recovery day yesterday. Um, those players who played in the game on Tuesday uh, continue with the with the recovery protocols today. And it's the players who didn't play on Tuesday if if had the training session uh, this morning. So tomorrow will be our first time to get the group back together as a, as a full group. Um, I have to say I thought the the spirit in the team on Tuesday night in the game, although the result didn't go our way, um, I thought the spirit in the in the team was was really clear to see. And I think that was backed up by. Um, the, the the Leicester City fans on the night, I thought the King Power was was, was really loud and fantastic and, and really behind the team and we'll be looking for the same come Saturday. How big a test is this ahead of you now for, for you and for Mike and, and for the rest of the players as well to, to stay in the Premier League? 
I think we've just got to stay in the moment. It's about being very current and, and, and considering only the, the here and now. Um, to, tomorrow we'll prepare the team with Bournemouth in mind and then it's the game on Saturday. We're not looking any further than that. That's, that's our full focus. Uh, this feels like a pivotal moment in the season because of where the two sides are, as you've mentioned already. I, I wonder, and you mentioned them already as well, that the fans and what your message would be to them ahead of the game this weekend. Well, we just want those, uh, you know, those players that we have here to get the full backing of the fans. Um, you've got to get right behind the team. If if um, if you're a Leicester City fan and at the King Power on Saturday, we'd love that. We'd appreciate that. And if it can be anything like it was on Tuesday night, then I'm sure it'll be fantastic. Adam, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Unless um, there's any more for this section, we'll move on to the, to the written section and lift that embargo. Thanks, guys.